so first I will just say what do you need to make armor parts like 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 uh, how you need to start preparing everything and what do you need to make those armors uh, first protection like you see this table is covered with uh, some like a, I don't know box part <laughs> to not burn the, the table and to not uh, cut the table or something so this is how I'm protecting the table <laughs> um, next you need to remember that this monster heat gun is really really dangerous <laughs> because this is not like normal uh, hair dryer or something it's really really strong and this part after it's even hot still uh, I was testing this like 10 minutes ago uh, would be really really hot so you can't touch this you you can't put it on anything because it will melt uh, everything under so you need to remember to be safe with this monster and I think about being safe when you're working it's it's everything uh, what what I have to work of course scissors um, like small one for small pieces and bigger scissors for bigger parts uh, then of course pen or something uh, what do we have here mm. I will show this later of course some tape if you will be making the patterns um, this is quite useful thingy I found it in a shop uh, it's like for female scoopy and stuff I'm using this just to form warbler sometimes to not burn my fingers it's really useful and it will be probably useful when I will be working with other uh, plastic stuff mm. of course some roll like normal one mm. okay and then what like some piece of papers when you need to make patterns or when you want to just design something mm. and I think it's all some glue when you need to glue like uh, here I was for this for this hairband uh, it was really quite difficult to make it uh, because when warbler is cold it's not plastic of course so those small parts was going off because I was trying to not heat it too much to don't lose that shape so I was just gluing those small parts to warbla with uh, I don't know how this kind of glue called but it's something what is really strong and then you need to scratch your fingers and you can just <laughs> glue yourself to everything I don't have this glue here now because I don't need it and uh, yeah about stuff you need to make uh, armor part so this is this is what I made uh, like first uh, no this is this is what I made first so this is the, the pattern I was making that pattern to make a uh, uh, arm part of my armor uh, how I did it I just used the typical normal I don't know kitchen foil I was covering that f my hand with that foil and then I was using like pa paper tape normal paper tape for paints I don't know how to say it and some other tape and I was covering my my hand uh, with this and then I was just drawing a pattern and shape of that uh, that armor part. Yeah. Then you using a for for warbler, warbler. Uh, like warbler is really thin. 
So normally you're using like one layer of warbler, then you put in uh, like um, core for your armor using a craft foam or ever foam, like this. And then you can sandwich, this is how we call it, sandwich that uh, craft foam with next uh, next layer of warbler. And I, I bought a my craft farm at Amazon. It was really, really cheap and it's E3 sheets. For E3 sheets, it was really, really cheap. This is how craft farm looks like. It, you, can, you can buy it with different uh, like sizes, but this thin one, it's I think two millimeters or something like this. It's perfect for making that warbler sandwich. Uh, so this is this is uh, this part of my shoe was made with a sandwich. So I have uh, like warbler here and here, and inside is a craft farm. But for my hairband, I w I just used one layer of warbler and craft farm because I don't have much warbler here. This costume is already <laughs> made uh, thanks to my donators and uh, I don't have much warbler to make that costume so I decided that some parts I will be making just with one layer of warbler and uh, craft farm. Mm, and yeah, it's warbler with one layer is still really mm, solid. The only problem is that if you will be making like bigger parts I didn't test it still, but I hope it will work with bigger parts. It's like here you will have uh, like the the edge, the I don't know how to say it, uh, of warbler, and rest will be like open with craft form. But it's still really solid, and I think it's it's still fine because that craft form inside is making this more thick. So I think it's still fine. I don't know how it will work with uh, bigger parts, but I think it's fine. And now I can tell a bit about Warbla. So Warbla is thermoplastic material, uh, which one is amazing. <laughs> it's really expensive. Like, of course, if you work in and you have money, it's not so hard to buy it, but for people who is not working like me or you just want to make something with warbler but you are still learning or something it's quite expensive material but to be honest it's worth that price because stuff you may you can make from warbler are just freaking amazing <laughs> like this is this is my stuff for lux it's still not finished at this end <laughs> and it's really, really solid material, and uh, I remember when I was making my armors only from craft farm, and I was covering uh, craft farm with some layers of gesso and with some layers of uh, wood glue. I was always afraid that when I will be transporting my costume, it will break or or something. And it's true because, like my uh, Nova costume is like I was repairing that costumes costume like three times or even more because after every event my costume is like I don't know in pieces and paint is going on off and stuff but warbler I, I even can hit with this with, with this stuff and it will not break because it's it's really really solid material So of course you can make your armors without warbler because like craft foam is al also really good material to make it and it's al also thermoplastic material uh, but you need to put more work into making your cosplay with craft foam and with covering this with layers of something what will like protect that craft foam. Uh, so 
yeah, if you have money and you want to make really solid and great cosplay, Warbler is really, really nice material. And Warbler have two sides, like this this part, this, this side is like scratchy and not nice to touch. And this one is like shiny, I don't know, oh, you can see that it's shiny and like really smooth and what what you can like this those those stripes are I, I was just cutting to to make details like here for for my shoe parts uh Warbla is it's like yeah, it's, Warbler is thermoplastic, and when you hit in this, you can just do whatever you want. Like you can make stuff like this. This is what I'm using, what I was using for making those details. Here, I was just rolling uh, scraps of Warbler. Like I, I showed on my cosplay page that when you when you have some like scraps of Warbler, really really little or something you can just hit them again and just roll them w you can do whatever you want to do with that warbler and you can still use it <coughs> and yeah like this one was for those bigger details of my stuff this small uh, roll is was I was using for making details here so you can really do whatever you want. You can. It's my my design is quite simple, but like uh, like you was probably watching Kamui cosplay or Lightning cosplay. You can do whatever you want to do. Make like schools and all of details you want to do with in your cosplay. Uh, so I think this is everything about Warbla and of course when you finish your work like you have finished part uh, how you paint in this uh, I will probably make a painting tutorial too and uh, if you want to paint your Warbla you just put in like 10 or 15 <laughs> layers of gesso gesso is a uh, how to say it gesso is a liquid paint uh, it's a, it's a ba base for i think paints when you when you paint in something i think people from art school know more about it uh, and you can just put a lot of layers for something like this and then you can just paint using uh, acry acrylic paints not uh, paints with alcohol or something like this because it's always dangerous to put on stuff like this like I remember when I was just using a typical normal spray and it was eating my uh, craft form that's why you need to use like something what will just okay protect. so now we can just start to I can just start to make that arm part